Today, we're turning up the heat as we discuss everything you need to know about Chicago Fire Season 13. Whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to the series, this season promises to deliver more drama, more action, and more emotional moments than ever before. For over a decade, Chicago Fire has been a staple on our TV screens, captivating audiences with the adrenaline-pumping world of Firehouse 51. The series has become known for its intense rescue missions, compelling character arcs and the intricate dynamics among the team of firefighters and paramedics who risk their lives every day. With 12 seasons under its belt, Chicago Fire has built a loyal fan base that eagerly awaits each new episode, and season 13 is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated yet. At the heart of Chicago Fire is Firehouse 51, where we've seen a rotating cast of characters who have come and gone each leaving their mark on the story. The camaraderie and bravery of this team are what make the series so relatable and thrilling. With season 12 having left us with some big changes, the upcoming season is set to explore new leadership dynamics, personal relationships, and unexpected challenges. One of the biggest questions going into season 13 is about the leadership at Firehouse 51. With Chief Wallace Bowden taking on the Deputy Commissioner role, Fans are eager to know who will step up to lead the team. Emon Walker's departure as a series regular has left a significant gap and the upcoming season will have to address this leadership void. In the season 12 finale, Chief Bowden hinted at a possible successor when he had a heartfelt conversation with Christopher Herman. Look after our family, he told Herman, suggesting that he sees potential leadership qualities in him. However, David Eigenberg, who plays Herman, has expressed in interviews that his character isn't quite ready to take on such a massive responsibility. As a lieutenant, Hermann would have to go through significant changes to rise to the position of chief. Eigenberg himself mentioned the character can't make a shift to chief unless we were deep into TV falsehoods. I'm not going to let him do that. He has to become a captain and then you got to go through a whole thing. With Herman unlikely to step up just yet, the question remains, who will lead Firehouse 51? Enter Dom Pascal, a new character introduced to fill this crucial role. Played by Dermot Mulroney, Dom Pascal is returning to the Chicago Fire Department after spending a decade in Miami. The casting of Mulroney as Chief Pascal was officially announced in late July, and fans are excited to see how he will fit into the established dynamics of Firehouse 51. Dermot Mulroney joins the cast as the new chief, Dom Pascal. His character is set to bring a fresh perspective and potentially shake things up at Firehouse 51. Pascal is a seasoned firefighter who's coming back to Chicago after a significant stint away from the city, bringing with him a wealth of experience and perhaps some new ideas about how things should be run. Dom Pascal's return is expected to be a significant storyline in season 13. Having spent a decade in Miami, what kind of leadership style will he bring? How will he interact with our beloved characters? Mulroney is known for his versatility and strong screen presence, which will undoubtedly add a new layer of intrigue and drama to the series. Fans of Jocelyn Hudon will be pleased to know that her character, paramedic Lila Novak, has been promoted to a series regular. Hudon's performance as Novak has been well received by audiences, and her transition from a recurring guest to a mainstay on the show is exciting news. Last season, Lila Novak joined Firehouse 51 as a floater, helping fill the gap left by Sylvie Brett, played by Kara Kilmer. As Violet Mikami worked to find a permanent replacement for Brett, Novak proved herself as a valuable member of the team. By the end of season 12, Novak agreed to ride with Ambulance 61 permanently, making her promotion to series regular a natural progression. Houdon's increased presence in season 13 will allow for deeper exploration of her character and the dynamics within Ambulance 61. How will her relationship with Violet evolve? Will she face new challenges that test her skills and resilience as a paramedic? Fans are eager to see what storylines the writers have in store for Novak and how she will continue to integrate into the Firehouse 51 family. After the unexpected shortened run of Season 12 due to industry strikes, fans will be relieved to hear that Season 13 is back to its traditional format of 22 episodes. This news, confirmed by Tiveline, means we can expect a fuller and more fleshed-out season with ample time to delve into multiple plotlines and character arcs.
The extended season will allow for a richer storytelling experience, giving fans the depth and drama they've come to love from the show. So when can we expect the heat to return? Mark your calendars for Wednesday, September 25th, as Chicago Fire Season 13 premieres at 9p. M. N. On NBC. If you're a subscriber to Peacock, you can catch the episodes live in most areas or stream them the following day. September 25th will also see the return of the entire One Chicago lineup, kicking off with Chicago Med at 8p. M. N. And wrapping up with Chicago P. D. At 10p, M. N. It's going to be a night filled with intense drama and action across all three shows, so make sure to tune in. Chicago Fire has never been shy about diving into complex storylines, and season 13 promises to be no different. With the leadership question at Firehouse 51 hanging in the balance and new faces joining the crew, here's what we can expect from the upcoming season. With Chief Bowden stepping into his new role as Deputy Commissioner, Firehouse 51 will have to navigate the changes his departure brings. Bowden has been a father figure and mentor to many of the firefighters, so his absence will undoubtedly be felt. While he may no longer be in charge of Firehouse 51, his influence and legacy will continue to shape the team's decisions and dynamics. The transition of leadership will be a significant focus as Dom Pascal steps into the shoes of the beloved chief. Another intriguing storyline that season 13 will explore is the revelation of Kelly Severide's new family connection. In season 12, firefighter Jack Damon, portrayed by Michael Bradway, joined Firehouse 51 as a floater. Throughout his appearances, it was clear that Damon was hiding something, and in the finale, he dropped a bombshell by revealing to Severide that he is his half-brother. This revelation comes after the passing of their father, who was played by the late Treat Williams. With no parental guidance to navigate this newfound relationship, Severide and Damon will have to figure things out on their own. Severide, known for his intense and sometimes brooding personality, will likely struggle with the idea of having a sibling he never knew existed. How will this impact his personal life and his responsibilities at Firehouse 51? Can he learn to trust Damon, and what secrets might still be lurking beneath the surface? This storyline is sure to add emotional depth to the season, challenging Severide in ways he never anticipated. Love is always in the air at Firehouse 51, and this season, the spotlight is on the complicated relationship between Violet Mikami and Sam Carver. After a season of flirtation and growing chemistry, Carver admitted he was falling in love with Violet. However, the timing couldn't have been worse as Carver decided to take a furlough, leaving Violet to ponder the future of their relationship. Will Violet be able to bridge the distance between them, or is this a love story doomed to end before it even begins? Season 13 will explore Violet's emotional journey as she grapples with her feelings for Carver and the challenges of maintaining a long-distance relationship, fans will be on the edge of their seats, rooting for this couple to find a way back to each other. Of course, no season of Chicago Fire would be complete without high-stakes rescue missions and intense action sequences. Season 13 will deliver the adrenaline, pumping scenarios that fans have come to expect as the team tackles everything from fiery infernos to daring rescues. The writers have consistently found ways to keep audiences on the edge of their seats, and this season will be no different. With new leadership, Firehouse 51 may face new protocols and strategies for dealing with emergencies. How will Chief Pascal's approach differ from Bowden's? Will the team adapt quickly, or will there be friction as they adjust to his style? These questions add an extra layer of tension to the season's action, packed sequences, Aside from the exciting additions of Dermot Mulroney as Dom Pascal and Jocelyn Houdon as a series regular, most of the beloved characters from Firehouse 51 are set to return. Here's a look at the core cast for season 13, Taylor Kinney as Lieutenant Kelly Severide, the charismatic and talented firefighter, will have a lot on his plate with the revelation of his half-brother and his ongoing leadership responsibilities. David Eigenberg as Lieutenant Christopher Herman, a fan favourite, Hermann continues to be a stabilizing force at Firehouse 51, navigating personal and professional and professional challenges with his trademark wit. Joe Minoso as Joe Cruz, Cruz remains a key player in the firefighting team, bringing his strength and loyalty to every rescue mission. 
Christian Stolte as Randall Mooch McColland, the veteran firefighter known for his humor and wisdom, continues to be a source of support for his colleague. Miranda Reyemayo as Lieutenant Stella Kidd, Stella's journey as a leader and her relationship with Severide will be explored further this season, adding depth to her character. Daniel Keery as Darren Ritter, Ritter's growth as a firefighter and his friendship with his fellow team members remain central to his storyline. Hanako Greensmith as Violet Mikami, as she navigates her complicated romance with Carver and her role at Firehouse 51, Violet's story promises to be an emotional roller coaster. Jake Lockett as Sam Carver, with his future uncertain, Carver's relationship with Violet and his career choices will be focal points in season 13. Randy Flagler as Cap, as one of the experienced firefighters at 51, Cap continues to play an essential role in the team's success. Anthony Ferraris as Tony, Tony remains a dedicated firefighter, ready to take on any challenge that comes his way. Caitlin Shennett as Kylie Estevez, Kylie's administrative skills and her interactions with the firefighters bring a unique perspective to the series. Michael Bradway as firefighter Jack Damon, now revealed as Severide's half-brother Damon's presence at Firehouse 51, will add layers of complexity to the narrative. As we gear up for the premiere of Chicago Fire Season 13, the anticipation is at an all-time high, with new characters, evolving storylines, and the promise of more thrilling rescue missions. This season is said to be a roller coaster of emotions and excitement. Whether you're tuning in for the intense action or the complex character dynamics, there's something for every fan to look forward to. Be sure to mark your calendars for September 25th and join us as we dive back into the world of Firehouse 51. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things Chicago Fire. Let us know in the comments below what you're most excited about for Season 13, and as always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and remember, Firehouse 51 is always ready to answer the call. See you in the next video.